No Lie was founded in 2012 by John Bryant. They are a proud Spokane brewery that not only provides craft beer for their loyal customers, but also provides jobs for the community. They have been exceptional in craft beer sales while at the same time give it back with various types of donations. Their craft beer has been awarded multiple prizes and have a large beer have had large beer festivals. Craft beer is not No Lie's only market, having restaurants and merchandise add to their revenue too. They have different types of high quality beers from heavy IPAs to light brews. Spokane customers are taken in with open arms, but No Lie still keeps the mentality of having an entire PNW target audience. Their main clients targeted are millennials and generation Xers because craft beer has become a popular trend for them. Large beer companies, although, are difficult to compete with, so No Lie's brand recognition and wide local distribution has given them a large advantage over other PNW breweries. Thank you very much. Currently, No Lie has a number of unique strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. First, there is a significant brand recognition in the Spokane area as the largest Spokane area brewery. This means they have a strong local distribution channel and have good relationships with inland Northwest distributors and re- retailers. Along with this recognition, NOLI has wide community outreach efforts that build brand trust in their local events and charity partnerships. There are, however, a few internal weaknesses that can and should be addressed by NOLI. First, the small size and local focus of the business puts a limit on possible growth. They can't grow too much without sacrificing the local feel, and in terms of growth, it will be difficult for NOLI to gain recognition outside of the inland northwest. Customers may not relate to the overly Spokane brand. Externally, there are a number of opportunities for No Lie to seize. First, they can develop distribution channels across the state to expand at a steady rate and hold on to their local feel. They can also take advantage of increased distrust in big beer brands and growing interest in craft beer interest by millennials and Gen Xers. There are also growing trends to shop local. No Lie can harness this by leveraging their Washington roots and resistance to selling out to a larger beer brand. Lastly, there are threats looming that No Lie should be aware of. Big brewing companies are buying up small breweries and sucking up craft brewing market share with their massive resources and marketing capabilities. This is a competitive threat and a risk of being bought out. The big companies may make an offer that's impossible to refuse. Also, the current surge in craft brewing interest can be a threat. There's a risk of oversaturation of the PNW market. Our first objective for NOLA is to increase traffic to the Spokane Brew Pub location. Nola could benefit from a cohesive brand image. Nola uses a similar pa- packaging for their Big Juicy and Born and Raised, but the rest of their beer packaging is different. Nola can also increase traffic to their Spokane location by supporting local Spokane foundations uh, to increase their uh, PR. The second objective we have for Nola is to expand brand awareness throughout the sp- Pacific Northwest. Nola uses their Born and Raised idea to prevent uh, alienating customers uh, prospective clients. This is very attractive to anyone who feels connected to where they were raised. Uh, another thing Nola can do is also stress to their customers that they will not be selling to a large beer company. This will attract uh, more customers throughout the Pacific Northwest. Our budget is made up of $20,000 for a marketing budget campaign. Uh, we were using a top-down approach. Uh, the whole point of our budget is to reach the millennials and G- uh, generation Ys. Uh, and we're the most attract, uh, most active. So we are not using much traditional marketing, but we're really using a lot of digital, digital and in-store marketing. Uh, as you can see, there is a, a budget allocation table um, and ways our budget will be uh, used um, to effectively execute our objectives. As far as our strategies and tactics, we broke up our strategies by the type of media we plan on using. First, we budgeted 30% of our budget for in-store media. And our plan for in-store media is to put promotional materials on display on shelves in grocery stores and liquor stores in Spokane, as well as across the Pacific Northwest. And our plan for this is to raise awareness of new or classic no rely beers and attract customers from all kinds of all areas, satisfying our second objective of expanding brand awareness across the Pacific Northwest. Second, we plan to use social and digital media and using 25% of our budget, um, implementing social media ads and digital media ads to execute micro-marketing to reach specific demographics in our region and our target market. 
We want to utilize advertising on Instagram and Facebook, and we have made some sample ads for Facebook that no lie could possibly use to reach Pacific Northwest markets as our beers roll out to those geographic locations. And we can use social media to target specific locations as we open um, a new bar or have a new grocery store that picks up no light beers. And our point for social and digital marketing is to raise brand awareness and inform new customers about no light beers. Next, we have TV, which we budgeted 25, 20% of our budget. And we want to utilize Spokane stations to reach local customers. Um, we want to target current customers in the age range of 40 plus. Those are usually who is watching local TV stations. And we want to encourage regular visits to the No Lie Blue Pub in this older generation who we don't necessarily reach with other media. Next, we have internet radio and we've budgeted 5% of our budget for this. We want to target a younger customer demographic through Spotify, Pandora, SoundCloud, and Apple Music and build a relatable connection between Noli and the target audience. We want to establish Noli as a known beer brand in the Pacific Northwest for our second objective, and our target demographic of millennials no longer really uses Facebook or, or FM or AM radio, and so internet radio is the best way to reach them. Next, we have publications, and we've budgeted 10% of our budget for newspapers and ma magazines in the Spokane area. We want to bring customers into the brew pub and inform a local market of what's going on in the pub. And basically just bring in local people into the Riverfront brew pub. Next, we have 5% of our budget towards transit, and we want to advertise on buses that have routes spread out all around Spokane. Again, just to get into the public's eye and bring more people into the local brew pub. Lastly, we budgeted 5% for outdoor ads, and we want to buy spots on billboards in Division Street, um, which is heavily trafficked every day, and will again reach casual customers that might be interested in coming to the brew pub or say, hey, I want to have no life for dinner today. And basically all of these ads we want to start in the Pacific Northwest area and then as NOLA expands to be served in bars across the country and um, grocery stores across the country, we'll expand our advertising to target people living outside of the Pacific Northwest. For our measurement and evaluation, uh, we are looking at two of our objectives. Our first objective to be uh, reiterated is to grow traffic to the Spokane Brew Pub location. Uh, for this, we will be looking at the number of visitors that we have to, to the pub, um, and we're looking at a 10% increase in traffic over the next year that we implement the IMC plan. Um, for a second objective, um, it's to expand brand awareness throughout the Pacific Northwest. Um, this one's a little more harder to measure, um, but we want to uh, increase the growth by 15% of vendors who carry our no live beer outside the Spokane area and that is that time frame is over the next two years um, also to accomplish ex expanding brand awareness throughout the Pacific Northwest we want to maintain a steady increase of 5% growth in our social media following uh, this is able to ensure brand awareness is steadily growing across the country due to our communication efforts Drink it.